Hi and welcome to my channel, Selena Style Designs. I'm Selena, an interior designer and stylist based in Sydney. Over the last few months, furniture flipping has given me the financial freedom to be able to pursue different creative projects, of which this channel is all about. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five really easy steps that you can follow to help increase views and get faster sales on your listing. If you want some helpful tools to help you sell faster, then continue watching. Whether you're a furniture flipper, reseller, or wanting to declutter and get rid of some unwanted goods for ready extra cash, I'm gonna share with you through this tutorial how I sell and list my flipped furniture pieces on Facebook Marketplace. So grab yourself a coffee or a tea, as this one is a bit of a long one, but it'll be well worth your time because I'll be giving you some practical steps to help you sell with confidence on Facebook Marketplace. So let's get into it. So for me, the first thing I like to focus on is my images. So I always make sure on staging day that I have great photos, I've got natural lighting, but that doesn't always help and account for the strength and brightness of some of the images just because you will have cloudy days and just sometimes the nature of the camera that you're using will kind of alter the clarity and strength of your colors. So what I'll do is I'll bring them into Canva just to be able to add some brightness to it um, just so I can show the, the true coloring of the piece. So on the day it was a little bit cloudy for me so what I'm going to do is just increase the brightness in some of these images. So what I'm going to do is just crop that there and then go into adjust and just increase the brightness ever so slightly. So if I go too much, it's going to really just completely lighten every other tone as well and it just feels too blown up. So I'm going to just probably go about 12. And then what I'll do is I'll duplicate same brightness again in the next image so that way they all feel consistent in their brightness so if you've been watching some of my past videos you've seen this console quite a bit I think it's really important just to see the whole process of being able to paint and flip it and how you do that and then the next stage is how do you list and advertise your painted piece so for me, making sure that I have a good range of angles. So I always like to make sure I at least have six. Um, I don't think you can ever have too many photos when you're trying to sell furniture. Um, you really want to think about it as if you are a furniture shop. And if you're trying to sell and find the right buyers, you need to make sure that you have a range of images that shows the timber, the paint, the angles, and I think the different characters that you really want to highlight in your furniture items. So I always make sure that I've got straight on angles so you can see a cropped version and it helps give in the details of an item. I always do an overhead angle like this here so you can actually see the timber quality and the just tone of it as well because everyone has very different flooring and you want to make sure that they can see what color the timber is just because it does change you know, photo to photo, um, depending on the lighting. And if there are ever drawers in a furniture piece that I've painted, I always include one with an open drawer, just so they can see. In my case, I haven't painted it. Uh, I don't actually generally paint the drawers very often. Uh, that adds more time for me. And most of the time they're in really good quality and they'll just fill it with other items. So for me, it's not really necessary to paint, um, unless of course the insides are a little bit damaged or worn or there's something to hide I'll paint it or I'll probably just use a wallpaper lining or some paper over that but in this case here the quality was pretty good and then here is my hero shot so this is pretty much a front on showcasing the whole piece and let's see how many I've got here seven images so I'm quite happy with that so you can see I've got the hero image here I've got a draw opening a big top angle I have a cropped close-up view on both sides and that way you can see all the spindle details as well and a close-up of just the detail itself now I'm just going to download these images and then next we're going to move into Facebook marketplace 
So because I have sold quite a few consoles, I actually just tend to use the same format that I have sold pieces prior. So I'm going to go to create new listing. I've got a single item for sale. And then I've got to open up my zip file that has all my new images. And here we've got my new images. And I'll just highlight and drag them in and let that load. So one thing to really consider is the ordering of your images. This can have such a big impact on who views it, how they view it, and just getting more eyes on your piece. So as you can see, it just has randomly uploaded all my images. So what I'm going to do is order them around. I might go these two together. So I, make, I like to make sure that my angles are quite similar. So these two will pair together because it starts off being closed and the drawer and it's the same orientation and then one is open. And then this will make sense to have it. So I might go the close up there, then it goes down and it might go down to here. Okay, so I feel quite good with that ordering. So the next we're going to choose the title. So I'm going to call this a stunning lilac spindle. So in my description, I like to say a sort of emotive word. So I'll use stunning or gorgeous just to capture the feeling. The color is usually in the description, what the item is. And in this case, some people call it a console table. Some people call it a whole table. So I use both in that. And then I always include the hardware as well. So it helps draw attention to that because not everyone knows what mother of pearl is or what the hardware is. So I just like to draw attention to that aspect as well. So for this one, I think I'm going to price it at 370 because that's around the benchmark that I've sold other consoles in this size and variation before. And I'm just going to do the different categories. And that's wood. And so what I'm going to do is open up another tab and go into my past orders that I've made because I already have a template created in the same way. So I'll go into my view listing and I'll pretty much just copy the whole entire description and then just change out the details such as the measurements obviously and the descriptor. So Okay, so I'm just going to run through the different aspects of what I write here. So I always explain and highlight what the piece is again, it's just reiterating the same as the title. I then explain the stain that I've used and the detail of why that I've used that hardware, just because you want to be a bit descriptive in this and to make sure that they can understand maybe why you've done this as well. So I've also made and highlighted maybe a way that they could use this in their own home. So I'll always say paired with a mirror above or an artwork and you have a very special piece to welcome you home. So this is giving them a concept and idea of how this potentially could work in their own space. And then also how I finished it off with protection. So in this case here I used the hemp oil the top surface and then I waxed the base for protection. And I always do a note of that because the piece is hand painted certain brush strokes might appear and because this is also a refinished item that there may be imperfections in the timber aspects themselves. So this is just a disclaimer for other customers so that way they know that if anything comes up that is potentially something that has already been stated in my selling descriptor. And I always state that the accessories are styling purposes and that I, they can pick it up from Piermont um, but I can also deliver this item as well. Definitely would recommend joining as many groups as you possibly can to get more eyes on your pieces and, and it's also another way of advertising your services too because people, they might not want the piece that you've got listed currently but they might start to see and notice that you do work that they might be interested at another stage. So it's a great way to just to get awareness and exposure of your services and what you do. So depending on the piece of furniture I will change and select 
certain groups for this. I won't always list it in all groups um, just because I feel like it can kind of saturate and get a bit lost. So I do want to make sure that I target which groups the particular furniture item might work best for. And because this is a bit more of a unique item, it's hard to predict whether or not this might go really quickly or it might take longer because it's not to everyone's taste. You really want to be able to grab that unique buyer that is looking for something that they didn't know they needed and they've come across it purely by chance or they've been looking and they've now found the thing they need. So that's the groups I've selected. And I'm just waiting that now to publish. Okay, so I now have got this listed. Now what I always make sure to do is to go back into the listing and view it because if you don't see it after you've listed it, you might not know to then change up the ordering because sometimes I have heard that some of the photos do change out of order. So you definitely want to check that. Check all your spelling as well. That's quite crucial. Just add a bit more space there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to update. And I do get this listing review because some of the groups are managed that they do need to approve your listing before it does get posted to their group pages. So now that we've got this up, I will now actually go into the marketplace and just see the tags I've listed just to see if it comes up. It does take sometimes a while for it to come up, but it helps just to make sure that your listing has become visible. And I wish Facebook would give some details and sort of stats about, you know, views on your items and just engagement and maybe how long someone sits on it, how long they've saved it, um, just because it would give you a bit more insight as to maybe what tags to use, what other elements to think of when listing your furniture. So, so far, nothing coming up in that tag. Let's see if anything comes up on this. Okay, so still nothing there. Sometimes it does take a while just to propagate, I guess on their database to come live so might just check back in an hour's time and see that that has gone live there's nothing worse than having a listing and it not being visible so just give a search once you have listed your item to make sure that it is visible and that you definitely have the right ordering of images to really showcase and draw attention to your item Okay, well, I'll check back in an hour to make sure that this is live. So now I'm just going to go check to see that the listing is live. And don't worry if it's not the first thing that pops up. There are so many things that get updated constantly. So if someone's going to buy, they will scroll. So don't worry about the positioning of where it sits so far. Yep, and there it is. So I've got the hero image and description looks good and what I do recommend is just going through your images and a good tip is to just see you know if you were a buyer are these images helpful is there a potential other angle that would be useful to give to a buyer so they can make a better informed decision and instead of taking a bit longer maybe to think and I'm um, an R about something they have a bit more certainty about what you're offering and the quality that you offer these five steps can really be applied to any item and listing that you're trying to sell on Facebook Marketplace. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I thank you for sitting through. I know it was a long one. I would love to know in the comments below, what difficulties or annoyances have you experienced in your time selling on Facebook Marketplace? For me as a furniture flipper, it's when sellers don't list the dimensions and the place of collection. They're such vital pieces of information, but it's astounding how common this actually happens. So I'd love to know if there's any things like that that you've experienced as well. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more 
more about furniture flipping and selling on Facebook Marketplace, then give my channel a subscribe. So happy selling and see you next time.